In this video, we will go over problems associated with a systemic candida overgrowth. We will also discuss symptoms, prevention, and treatment options. Those who are looking for more in-depth information can go to normalcolon.com. Almost everybody has candida living inside their body, ideally in the yeast state. However, when gut bacteria collectively undergo a die-off, as is the case with antibiotic use, corticosteroid use, heavy metal accumulation, and stress, among other factors, candida undergoes a pleomorphic change into a pathogenic mycelial fungus. This bacterial die-off triggers dormant candida to change form and begin the process of decomposition. At this point, the fungal form of candida secretes phospholipase enzymes and produces hyphae in order to break down the cellular structure of an organism. In the United States, an estimated 20% of people have a systemic candida overgrowth. In addition, women are eight times more likely than men to suffer from this issue. The reason for this drastic increase is due to progesterone production and in turn increased glycogen production. In the end, those who suffer from candida overgrowth may not even know it. However, they likely suffer from a wide range of idiopathic diseases. At this point in time, a candida overgrowth is one of the most underdiagnosed conditions. Unfortunately, most people don't realize that a candida overgrowth is the source of their health problems. Instead of treating this issue, many continue to feed candida with sugar and undigested food. While limiting sugar intake simply requires knowledgeable eating habits and willpower, dealing with undigested food requires one to increase their stomach acid production. On a side note, those who suffer from heartburn have low stomach acid and exasperate the problem further by taking antacids. Instead, one should consume organic raw apple cider vinegar mixed in water before meals or consume baking hydrochloride as it will improve their digestion. Candida produces 79 toxic metabolic byproducts including acetaldehyde and ethanol. Let's look at the effects of just one of these byproducts, acetaldehyde. Those who have acetaldehyde circulating through their system suffer from a wide range of maladies including allergies, inflammation, rigid blood cells, bad circulation, cold hands and feet, Krebs cycle inefficiency, fatigue, and an increase in prostaglandin production. Acetaldehyde also binds to neurotransmitters and causes depression anxiety, and memory problems. Within the intestines, acetaldehyde contributes to leaky gut syndrome, immune system dysfunction, the candida-related complex, reduces the absorption of magnesium, vitamin B6, and beta-carotene. Acetaldehyde also suppresses coenzyme A production. Now let's focus exclusively on the candida-related complex and the symptoms associated with it. Those who suffer from this issue often experience headaches, fatigue, insomnia, depression, impaired comprehension, anxiety, mood swings, impaired coordination, hallucination, dizziness, violent behavior, hyperactivity, and irritability. In addition, those who suffer from the candida-related complex experience joint inflammation, muscle pain, skin problems, circulatory problems, regulatory problems, respiratory problems, gastrointestinal symptoms, and hormonal imbalances. Now let's look at the generalized symptoms associated with a candida overgrowth. Those who have a candida overgrowth often experience allergies, autoimmune conditions, thrush, psoriasis, brain fog, depression, leaky gut syndrome, food intolerances, and yeast infections of all kinds. In addition, candida can directly affect almost any part of the body. Now let's look at the way candida contributes to leaky gut syndrome. The pathogenic fungal version of candida creates hyphae that are able to dig holes in the intestines. This allows candida to stay firmly attached and makes it hard to eradicate. These holes allow toxins and undigested food to pass directly into the bloodstream. Since undigested food and toxins are seen as invaders, the immune system kicks into high gear and remains that way indefinitely. This contributes to allergies, long-term inflammation, and other problems like cholesterol buildup. 
Those who are suffering from a few of these symptoms may already realize that they suffer from a candida overgrowth. However, one can also perform these spit tests or take part in Dr. Crook's candida questionnaire in order to obtain further affirmation. Those who want to treat themselves for a candida overgrowth can either acquire professional assistance from a knowledgeable practitioner like Dr. George Giorgio in Cyprus or undergo self-treatment. For those who are interested in contacting Dr. Giorgio, there is a link in the description. However, those who don't have the time or money to take part in professional treatment have the ability to treat themselves if they choose. Those who want to participate in a home-based candida treatment program should first perform a colon cleanse and then be ready to take part in a three-month long candida elimination program. This program has the potential to reduce candida in the body and revert the fungal form back into its yeast state. During the first stage of this process, the goal is to starve candida by removing its favorite food source, sugar. During the first six weeks, no sugar is allowed of any kind. This includes sweet fruits. After the first six weeks, one may consume moderately sweet fruit, but should avoid going over the top. Throughout the entire three months, avoid honey, refined foods, soda, grain products, juice, fermented food, mushrooms, shelled nuts, and coffee. Removing all of these items from the diet over three months has the ability to starve candida and make it more susceptible to antifungals. Throughout the entire three-month candida treatment program, one may eat vegetables, meat, eggs, fish, and bone broth. In addition, eating nuts that are still in their shell and have to be cracked are acceptable. One may also eat seeds like flax, chia, sunflower, and sesame. Include healthy fats in the diet like olive oil, coconut oil, red palm oil, and sesame seed oil. Consuming items like ginger, garlic, thyme, turmeric, oregano, cloves, and cinnamon are also a good idea. Those who are on this program can consume herbal teas as well, but should stay away from teas that have caffeine, like green or black tea. The second step of the three-month program involves using antifungals to kill off candida and use probiotics to replace their presence in the lower intestines. Using all of these items simultaneously has the potential to produce the greatest results. Candida Flex is a wide-spectrum antifungal that combines various herbs in order to kill off candida. In addition, adding horopetal herb, caprylic acid, nascent iodine, and candida homeopathic 30C makes the overall process more effective. During this treatment, consuming a high-quality probiotic like custom probiotics allows healthy bacteria to inoculate the colon. Consuming a multivitamin and omega-3 allows the body to remain balanced with regard to vitamins, minerals, and lipid profiles. The third part of the three-month candida treatment program involves using Sanum remedies that have the ability to change the fungal form of candida back into the yeast form. Since most candida treatment programs don't include this step, participants feel better initially as their symptoms melt away, but find that these symptoms quickly come back in a few months' time as the fungal form of candida is allowed to multiply. In fact, every single fungal candida cell needs to be killed off or reverted into its yeast state in order to permanently recover from a candida overgrowth. This is why it is so difficult to overcome a candida infection. Using the Sanum remedies when treating a candida overgrowth is one of the only ways to finally put an end to it. During the treatment program, many participants experience Herxheimer reactions within the first six weeks. In fact, a worsening of symptoms, aching, bloating, dizziness, and nausea are likely. It is at this time that many candida cells are collectively undergoing a die-off and create an overload on the body's elimination systems. Remain positive and continue to move forward with the program while keeping the end goal in mind. After the three-month candida treatment program, perform a two-week detox by consuming only fruits and vegetables. After this two weeks is up, consider taking part in a parasite cleanse, a liver cleanse, and a gallbladder cleanse in order to make sure the bodily systems are functioning efficiently. In addition, those who have low stomach acid should treat this issue with betaine hydrochloride in order to improve their digestion. 
Since the Candida overgrowth is often accompanied by a heavy metal overload, take part in a heavy metal detox. In addition, consume thyroid supplements in order to make sure the thyroid is operating properly. Also, use magnesium chloride transdermal application in order to make sure that the body has an adequate amount of magnesium. Those who are looking for more information on treating a candida overgrowth can go to normalcolon.com and check out the description below.